G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawbrutal, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where I'm huddled up in my slightly claustrophobic but very cozy home in Fist Only 2. I do have quite a lot of unfinished business from yesterday, my crucible is finally done crafting so I can whack you straight into there. I'm still missing bellows? Surely not. Surely not. How am I still missing bellows? Locked behind a schematic for it, I have all the gubs I need to build it, but just don't have the knowledge yet. That's a bit upsetting. That needs to go to the top of my list for today. In fact, I'll go like this. Pin you. Even though I can't craft, you'll forget the option to find you. I'll absolutely go for it. There's a lot of things. G'day, sunshine. That I need to do from yesterday. I've still got... I press the right button. Out here in the winter. Those two gun safes are still yearning to be popped open to give me all the gummies inside. As well as Nicole's treasure map. As well as the Derpo down there. As well as Claude's treasure map. So there's lots of loot on that silver platter. I just need to figure out how to get into it. Which means I have to wait till 6, go hand in the quest to Jen, and pray that she has something to open a safe with. Either an explosive charge or a lockpick. And it's a lockpick and candy. Any of those three will get me up and about. It might even be worth a sneaky trip out to either Huey or Jolie up in the winter out there. Yes, it's risky because there's bears and mountain lions and whatnot, but they might actually sell what I need. And I- Ooh, actually... I very rarely, this is this is a series of doing things I rarely do, I very rarely put a point into lockpicking. I could put a point into there and craft my own lockpicks, whether or not it gets me in there faster or better, I don't believe it does. I think you get better chance to pick things open when you're on zero level for some bloody reason, kind of like beginner's luck kind of thing, but I can craft my own if I go into that. It is a bit of a waste of a skill point, though, because I know as soon as I buy that point, I'll find lockpicks everywhere. So I don't really want to waste a point like that. Buying Forgetting Links is expensive, so I don't really want to waste one. But it's always an option. I'm not far away from the next level up regardless. You aren't really doing anything right now. I still need an engine, actually, to make a cement mixer. So that's what I'll do while I'm waiting for Jen to open. We'll go find some cars, break them down. Stead, death, and canine form in the face and be like, absolutely not. Although... That's not the glowy eye, that's a very different color eye. Let's go find some cars, break them down, get a motor, and start this day off right. Ventured back into town, because this is where cars should be plentiful, and the passing gas is living up to my expectations. It's only the ones that still have the panels on them that give me, or have the chance to give me engines. Ones that are completely stonkered like that one, don't do anything. So I need this one or the one step below. It's like, yeah, like the second tier. Out of the three tiers of a car, it's the second tier that gives it either batteries or engines. It's a weird way to try to explain it, but I hope you know what I mean. It's this tier here is what I'm after when it's still searchable. And you're going to prove me wrong by giving me absolutely donuts. All right. Cool bananas. Sick as. Thanks for that, mate. Thanks for bloody nothing. Bonza, mate. Got my level up from breaking down cars. Don't spend it yet, Josh. Don't spend it on lock picking just yet. It's not all out the window. There's still a chance you'll get what you need without having to waste a precious skill point. Because all I want, all I want to do is just pump sex rex, get up to level four, which is strength seven. I know, but 30 stamina per killing blow is the best. Anything here I can buy? Nothing really there. Iron gut even. Healing factor is probably a good idea as well. Critical injuries heal 40% faster. It's basically like a permanent health bar. It's got to be pain tolerance. Got to be pain tolerance. How do I not have any points in pain tolerance yet? You're getting up close and personal every time you go out with your fists. Not having pain tolerance is like flirting very viciously with death. Not just like the cheeky knee rub, but like full on licking lips and winking. Oh... Ah, uh, hello everybody. It seems there is quite a couple of them out here also looking for engines. I'm just going to park my bike up next to this car, which I'll break down in just a moment. Remember what I was saying the other day? How, ah, damn it, Arlene, you lanky git. Reached out and touched her. I really didn't want you to. And I was saying the other day about how I wanted to get the mini bike so I could jump off and get into a fray or a cheeky fracas immediately. Well, this is why the zombies clambering over the top of each other. Horny boy wants nothing to do with it. But I dropped in. Ah, oh, damn it, Nance. With my stamina ripped, snorting and red at the go, purely because I didn't have to pedal my way all the way out here. Get a little bit of space, let my stamina come back as we- Ooh, <laughs> that's a- that's a bit of a view. Unlucky there, Cobber, Ali. Piss off, you've caused me enough trouble for one day, and it's only bloody six in the morning. Standard Arlene issues, you wake up, and Arlene's a thorn in your side. Just stand and practice for her. There's a battery, but still no engine. Most of my life at this point is just breaking down cars and just staring at the bottom right of the screen, praying I see what I'm after. Not gonna get it out of this phase of the car, but I'll break it down to be thorough anyway. A couple of cars over there that might have what I'm after. No, they're already too far gone. Nothing searchable there, nor breakable there. Mm, oh, there's a stag just across the road. I might see if I can knock you down now. I've got the power of petrol. 
G'day, Staggy Boy. Looking very horny this morning. Bonk. No. No. Can I... Seriously? Can I not knock you down with bikes anymore? Ah, uh, all right. All right. Apparently, they're taking after a big old bloody red roo. You're going to hit him with a car and they'll just walk it off. Total your car and send to the hospital. You bastard. Get back here. I'm hungry. Gotcha. Gotcha. You can't escape again. One too many shots from the snake like your bloody Aladdin getting punch drunk. You. Take you. Take all your delicious venison. Just slap you in a pot and slurp you down. Right. Okay. It's now 6.40, so Jen is definitely up and about, and the store is open. But I am committed. I'm committed to find this engine. I think that's a searchable car, but it looks at things. You are. If you're searchable, you're breakable. What have you got, first of all? Mm, another radiator. I've got plenty of those already, but thank you anyway. Change something out for my wrench and keep breaking you down. Come on, please. This is the moment. I've got good feelings about this one. Yes, I've got good feelings about this one. There it is. Give me that engine. Om nom nom. Om nom 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 nom. Like I'm me go to the Cheesecake Factory on a Saturday afternoon. Just put all that delicious goodness right up me face. Jenny girl, I am back. I'm already having an absolute corker of a morning. So there's not a lot you could do that's going to dampen my spirits. You do not. We've oh, got hackers candy. No, thank you. Got a health bar. I'll take you. You do not have the lock picking candy, but that is okay. I'm already off to a flyer. Don't care. Don't wow, care. I Even you flat out ignoring me can't make me sad at this point. Another tier three. Take it with Lowes with Tacky Boy these days. Or some military gloves. Well, we're on my mitts at the moment. Just some tier three padded, so they are actually a benefit for me. Two thousand dollar reduce. Thank you very much. Do you have lock picks? No. Do you have explosive charges? No, you don't. What about your secret body stash then? Anything fun in you? No, there's not. Jen's significant less fun than she used to be. I blame the mustache man. All right, well, what oh, jobs do you have then? Soon? Tier 3 fetch and clear. Oh, 100 meters away to the southwest. Is that going to be the book house? I've got a bit of a I think it is, actually. Oh, I think it's the... Oh, it is the book house. It is the book house. Don't mind if I do then. I will go and do that. In a moment. That's pretty what used to be bugged though. You couldn't finish it, but we'll see how we go this time. Either way, I'm up for the challenge. So I've got my engine now and lots of other good things. You, cement mixer, please. You're going to take three minutes to craft, but that's fine. Look at that. Finally got it. Craft up, you. Lovely, lovely. You now have the crucible in there. Probably should have got you sorted out. Make myself a bunch of steel. 13 odd minutes. Forge steel. 57 of you. Lovely, lovely. We're getting some good resources going here, actually. I will quickly chug a lug down. A cheeky beach stew. I should get all of my stats up and about. And let's go sort out this book house. Sammy, it means I'll need you. Trade you over. I'm going to start hoping that I can find some sort of lockpick on the way, though. There's lots of garbage over there to search. It will also have a lock chest at the top of it. If things could go on this way, though, as soon as I find one lockpick into lockpick and candy, there's going to be like 17 different safes to get through, all one after the other, like a deck of cards with lots of loot. That's not actually a bad shout now I'm thinking about it. I'm going to quickly head on down to the other vendors around town, see if I can grab myself that lockpick and candy. I just need the one, because I think by default it lasts like 11 minutes or so, but I'll expect into iron guts will last even longer again. And that's more than enough time, given there's no chance of breaking your lockpick, more than enough time to get through all of the different saves and whatnot, one after the other. So let's go search it now. Make sure I don't forget about it and search every day till I find one. Pretty soon, we'll have what we need. What have you got for me? You got skull crushes. Thank you. Sugar bars. Thank you. Health bars. Thank you. I'm going to spend all of my allowance on junk food. And Jen can't stop me now. Listen, you gave up the ability to tell me what I can and can't eat when you decided to go with a mustache man instead of me. And it's not that I'm bitter. It's just that all the snacks you had were bitter. And I'd rather have something sweet, unlike your attitude towards me these days. Have I ever marked this? Oh, Froth exists, please, absolutely. Have I ever marked this, um... Oh, it's like an eye candy. Oh, it's only plus five. But also got the the goggles that might get me a little bit extra. I'll take you as well, because why not? Have I ever marked this vendor on the map? I have not. I'm letting myself down there. Quickly mark up you. All right, on to the next one as well. Cheeky extra. Oh, and it gave me an engine too. I parked up next to this car and I was like, it's too good to be true. It's calling me. It's whispering those sweet nothings in the back of my head that tell me to do secret things like touching the magical piece at the bottom of the canyon when you're fighting president business. You got you. Got the engine. Lovely, bloody, lovely. Where's the next one? Just down here. There's the next vendor. Things are going too well. 
Things are going too well today. That means there's almost definitely a horde tonight. The game never gives me good things one after the other without taking a lot back from me. Extra froth. And a jailbreaker. Something sus. Something sus. Something doesn't feel right about this. This is way too gracious for the gods of seven days. Is a piano going to follow me or something? What's going to go wrong now? And another one. I might just break down cars for us today. Apparently today is the day of engines, the day of dinosaur power. After a little bit of hiccup at the start, a little bit of hard yakka, now every car I touch to, I touch to every car I touch turns to engine gold on like the minus touch of compression ratios. That's so good. There's all the cars around there. Let's not push our luck too much, but I now have two more engines, which is going to translate to, well, two, ooh, okay. So two more cement mixes. Well, why do they make one more? I think two is kind of enough. I'll keep the other one in case I make a motorcycle at some point, but this is a real happy day. It's barely even 10 a.m. and I'm having a sausage of a time. I know I've got that job to do at the book house, but I'm currently pretty chockers with all the various governs I've got from breaking down... Well, actually, before I do that, from breaking down all the cars, you can be refueled. You're now absolutely stacked up. Lovely. You can now have the rest of that then. See, guys, let's get upstairs. Also got some spare batteries too for future power generation. Everything's looking up. Everything's coming up, Josh House. You can take all of that. You can take all of that. Those ones too. I'm, I'll take you with me now, just in case you guys can go away. In fact, that can stay with me as well. Just in case, if I find some lockpicks... I might finish off this quest, head up to there, and go bang, 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 bang. All the way down, all one after the other. Does that make sense? It's an awful lot of banging for me to do in one day, but you know what? For once, I'm going to live up to my potential. At least the potential I wish I had. Let's craft up one more cement mixer. Thank you. I will take this one and whack you down just next to it. Just in there. That'll do. Now, can you please make... Is that all the small stones I have? He... What? How? I've been alive for a long time. You can only you can't just like, accumulate small stones over the trip. Only 14? How is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, okay. Well, make 14 cement for me. Thank you very much for that. That's blown my little mind. How, how have I got so few stones? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just deal with that as best I can. Lock you three into there. I'll come back for you later. Let's go do the job. I might have to go mining just for pebbles at some point. That's very unusual. Well, we've been here before. We know what's in store for us. That feral that spawns on that level is always a bad time. But we'll deal with that come what may. Oh, <laughs> that, that actually kind of terrified me there for a second. I thought it was going to be a zombie right under me footsies. Let's change you over for that. I do need your rotten flesh. Thank you. You are just a big slab of meat for me. And I'll exploit you as such. Here we go. Bonk. And... Bonk. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's a good time. Look how shocked he is. It's not that I'm explicitly trying to rush it, but I do quite like this POI. I feel comfortable in this POI, so getting through here pretty quickly is just kind of second nature. Except for when I can't break open the bathroom wall. Excuse me. I will take your meat as well. Nom, nom, nom. You're going to go straight into the garden like the big pack of compost you are. And what is in the secret stash? Anything good? anything good about the best loot you can get the froth recipe the only thing i'm missing now is a solitary beaker and we can start crafting up all the brutals to my heart's content my blood alcohol content is about to be purely alcohol and i'm gonna enjoy every last drop of it scrap all of you take the wood what a time what a time found a crucible guest they found engines and a frothy recipe today see what i mean it's not usually good luck for me I don't trust it. I don't trust when things are going well. That means that things are about to go very bad. This seems like a good moment to bring Sammy back to the fray. Chuck you down right in front of the door. Yep, there you go. And quickly pop you open. Oh, what's up? Oh, that's a... Holy shit, that's a feral biker. Feral biker, go, Sammy. Get him, Sammy. Oh, Sammy, you didn't quite save me. Hang on. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt a lot. I'm hurt a lot. Just quickly deck him like the sad sack of shit that he is. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I need you to... Oh my god, look how fast he is. Look how bloody fast he is. Do I pop a froth for this? I'm not sure. Sit you down. Get your gooey. Get you gooey as well, please. Can you go gooey, please? I need to separate the feral so I can actually have a crack at him. There you are. Drop. 
Please drop. Oh, drop and jiggle. Absolutely bloody lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now going to work on the rest of the normal zombies. Sammy didn't do much, but I still give him lots of credit. Oh, I'm just going to like bathe in your guts. That's worth a very deep, long and hard tea bag. There's a couple of cars down here with not much to give me. I'll scrap you, scrap you. Sure, I'll take you. Seeds are usually pretty handy to have. And I'll just break it down. It's the day of engines, apparently. So let's continue that trend. You can throw... Oh, actually, no. I was going to say you can throw as many feral bikers at me as you want. As long as you keep giving me the things that I want. But I think I'd rather do it the hard way and work harder for some of the things that I need and face no feral bikers because they... They are the worst things. Armored fast and hit like a dump truck. I can't handle dump trucks. Don't send them my way. Ask Loza. She'll confirm. There's another engine. The trend continues. Another one for me. Lovely as. I'll just break down the rest of you. Clear up some space. We really like this garage, actually. Can I have a garage like this at my house? This would be sick. So much room for activities. Break it down. I probably don't need... You, I'll just scrap you. Got some extra random gubbins on me too. I'll keep the stones because apparently I'm running out of those ones. I have to go mining at some point. Okay. Okay, first floor done. Don't accidentally break the box. What have you got? Ooh, fuel seven mods. Can I guess please another wheel and some other good things? This is a really good looting day. There's no other garbage or anything for me to search to try and find those lockpicks I'm desperate for. Anything up the top? No. Nothing in the corners. No, nah, nothing. All right, it's a very, well, oh, it's a very clean garage. It's a mildly clean garage. Not a lot of random trash. Did have to use a first aid bando to get my health back. We're about to fight another feral. Let's crouch down. Oh, that lag scared me. And try and just get a look, see what we're facing before. It's usually a strip of titties. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't be a feral soldier. Don't be a feral soldier. The other one's still in the room over there. I might be able to get you gooey before you even know that I'm here. Creep up and... Creep up and absolutely rock your world. You know, let's get on top of you. Turn around in the best way possible. Take off my pants and just ride into the night. What a time! You know what? If it keeps going like this... Oh, you're just a regular feral, but you're a normal zombie. So I'm significantly scared of you. Do you know the horrors I faced this morning? You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing even to pop off froth over. Absolutely not. If things keep going this way, though, I'm going to have to call this episode, like, the greatest day ever. Because so far, it's tracking up to me. Break it down. I'll actually take all of you apart for springs and whatnot. All I need is the beaker. If I find the beaker today, I may get naked. Oh, I'm just... I'm feeling the fizz, and I love it. Doesn't look like there's a doggo that spawned down there, so that's good news for me. Oh, there's a copper, though. Oh, I don't want to vomit at me. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a good moment for Sammy Boy. Chuck it down. You and me can take on whoever. Get you going first of all. Where's that copper gone? Oh, yep, he's still in the spikes out there. Let the Yeti come first. Miss. Oh, love your work, Sam. I missed the first one, but you didn't miss. Can always rely on you. Bonk. Bonk. He's having a heart attack. He's having a head attack. Pat, pat, pat. You didn't do much, Sammy, but the emotional support is better than anything. It is the bookhouse after all. It's living up to its name. We've got six bookshelves to raid. Nothing in you. Come on, this is your moment. Ooh, you're only worth 44 bucks. I'll just read you for the experience instead. Babel bat schematic, which is worth 176. Babel bats are valuable. I understand that. It's like a how-to guide, uh, how guide to be loved. Maybe I should read it again, actually. 176 on you too. And nothing in that one. Already raided all the kitchen. Not much more to go. And no extra bookshelves in the office either. All right, six is fine. Six will do. Damn it. Oh, actually, you know what? No, nah, you know what? No, nah, I've got time. I've got the patience for once in my life. Let's grab you, whack you to this, and beat you to death. I want your gubbins. I drunk a coffee, so getting into this thing was actually rather seamless. Pop you open nice and quick. Two more. One more. Nice job done. Don't have a lot of room in me, but that's fine. For not a lot, scrap you and take you. I can sell those rougher parts for a little bit of dosh. Uh, where's my bike, actually? Bike is just outside the gates down there. All right, hold on. There's not an enemy at the gates, just a bike instead. I'm going to chuck all my gubs into you. Don't stray too far. You, take what you can. In fact, take almost all of that. I'll come back for you later on. All that stuff is all stackable, too. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I keep taking cooking pots. I can make my own now, but it's just kind of like a force of habit at this point to make sure I take it whenever I find them. Up and up. There we are. All right, ScoMo, I've had a good day so far. It's been ruined by your presence, but 
You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's bloody fine, ScoMo. This is the happiest everyone's been to see you, and it's because you died in front of me. Oh, good. All right, Josh. Time to learn from some lessons from your mistakes of the past. Don't get yourself trapped behind the vent there, please. That was not a good play last time. The zombies are in here somewhere. Somewhere in there. Oh, I heard it yet. Yeah, there's a lot of red dots up there. Quickly sit you down. Zombies are coming through the wall, so I guess they're just not coming from that way this time. Ow! Sammy, come on. Do a little bit more work, please. Another couple are coming. Spank that ass because you bent it over for me. One more. Good. Almost good. Wow, you are tough. You are really standing up to it today more than I would like you to. Who else is here? I'll leave Sammy there to fall back to if I need to. Here you. Here you. Stop putting your hands up like a guard to protect yourself. Just pop it in the chin and wear it. Better. Damn it. I'm falling back, Sammy. I'm coming for you. There's a lot of zombies up here. It's getting real crowded. I'm not into this. I don't like being in public. Let me alone. Give me my social zombie distancing. There's someone still alive. I can hear him, but I don't see him. Sammy, come with me. Please, we're going investigating. They kind of sound like they're downstairs. How did you get down here? I'm not entirely sure, but it just whack you back onto the spikes. That's a bit, a bit harsh from you, Josh. Maybe, uh, maybe give them a nice peaceful death rather than just re-skewering them like they're a piece of chicken at a barbecue. All right, job done. Almost job done. Clear areas is done, actually. Does that include the pool, then? Because there are zombies out in the pool. There's the supplies. Grab you. And actual job done. All right, let's get the rest of the loot, but where's the... There's the zombie hole, which means just the other side of this is where that weapons bag is. Look at me finally knowing where yet another secret stash is. I'm sure there's so much this game will leave behind that I just don't know about. Pop you. Weapons bag for... Ooh. Ooh. A tier 6 pipe pistol with a suppressor. Actually, oh, seems kind of fun. Chuck you onto that. What do you look like? What do you look like with a tin can slapped on the muzzle of you? Change it over. Just like... Yeah, okay. Okay. That's pretty sick. I like that. I suppose if I'm desperate for stones, I should probably break down... Where was it? I saw it in here somewhere. Yeah, you, the brick pallets. Oh, yeah, look at all the juicy stones it gives me out of that. I actually I broke down some cobblestone as well. That's why my stone hall was so high. I think that's everything. Still no sign of any lock picks though. So it's kind of shit out of luck on that one. You, 13 rounds. I can sell you. Ooh, okay, not too bad. I can actually make an extra first aid bando out of you. Like that. Thank you very much. All right. None of you look like you have the potential to give me any lockpicks, but I'm going to cross my fingers and hope so anyway. What possibly could you give me? Make my life just a little bit better. Been a great day already. Just want that little bit more. Bookstore box with a needle and thread book that I don't need. Uh, shabby box with some coffee. I'm not too shabby. I'll scrap you. Take the cough. And... Ooh, blade trap schematic. I'll actually read you. I'll take you to sell. Baton pass to sell as well. And a reinforced chest I can't get into. Just add it to the pile. Add it to the list of chests we can't get into yet. Where's the treasure one? That one. Let's come back for you another time as well. There's heaps of them. There's so many. I cannot believe. I honestly cannot believe that Jamaica has a bobsled team. But also how hard it is for me to try and find any lockpicks around here. It's just not going according to plan at all. Um, there is actually, before I leave, get out of this place yet, yeah, there we go. There is still some glass out in the pool out the back like it's a crisp summer day. I'm gonna get out there, beat them to death, search all the garbage out there and see if I can find another couple of picks anywhere. That's all I'm pining for. It's all I'm bloody pining for. Sure, whatever, chuck that into me and I'll gurgle down some water to follow it as well. Cheeky fluid chaser. Who's here? Just you look. So is this how they fix the POI being glitched? They just changed like these guys being part of the POI and now you just kill them at your own grace, I suppose? Now, that works for me, especially since I was just a bit murder hungry this morning. Do you guys have any lockpicks on you? No? All right, cool. Thanks anyway. I was going to take what I needed to go and sell things to Jen now, but I do have quite a bit of a cluster of things back at home that I would like to sell her all in one go when I do have the sugar butts rolling for me, which I've left in the campfire, didn't I? Always got to remember, the sugar butts are in the campfire, like there's money in the banana stand. Well, you, what have you got for me? Sure Tier 5 eyes. hood or... Can I get you? They're worth about the same, but you'll be worth more to put mods in you. Mm, no, strictly speaking, that's a more valuable one. So I'll take you. I'll sell you another time, though. Any other decent jobs? Not really. You look like you can handle yourself. Wanna earn I have to handle myself, Jeff, because you refuse to. So I'm all on my own. Some over here. All right. Finish two more jobs this week. 
Don't lie to me. We'll give you employee of the month. Don't lie to me, Jen. You've told me that before. I've done a billion, billion jobs for you, and you're refusing to give me a smooch on the cheek. I see how it is. I'm gonna go and do this quest for you again because apparently, apparently, I'm a schmuck for you. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, oh, it's just another time I'm standing outside Jen's door, pleading with myself to get up. Come on, get out of there. There you go. <laughs> Jeez, mind the divots, Josh. Keep my eyes peeled for any trash along the way. Quickly check you for, ooh, not to be. That's fine, I'll take all of you. Don't really need to scrap too much. I've got plenty of room. Ooh, cheeky eggs. I wish you could get like, I don't know, like a bungee cord. You know, like those like Oki straps, whatever like the actual name for them is, where like you can like the, like the springy bungee cord things and just time a bike to us. I can walk on the ground, search the things I come across rather than having to drive through your feet then stop again. All right, ready to go, bikey boy. Let's grab you. And just whack you down like there. Give me some protection. Tier three buried supplies. That's where it's gonna be. But we'll start in the. We won't start in the southwest actually. It always goes bad for me. How about we start kind of this side in the southeast and dig across to it? And I feel like five times out of ten or one out of two, if you simplify your fractions, I dig my entry ramp immediately above the treasure. This way you should at least avoid that. I do need to be mindful that this is a tier three. So when the circle comes in. Zombie spawn, I think. I thought. And I was wrong. I could have sworn that was how that worked at the high levels of buried treasures. That, yeah, when the surface starts coming in, the zombies start spawning. But, okay, maybe not. Not sure what's going on there. But I'm not going to question it too hard. But also don't take it for gospel, Josh. They might come the next time. And they don't want to get trapped underground. Again, I didn't even check to see if the circle was coming in or what way it was going in. That's what I was looking for, though. There is the orange... The, the orange nest. There is the orange circle. Got so distracted by the shine in the soul, God. The shine of the soul, I forgot what it was actually called. Go faster, faster. I'm not crouching, I'm just real slow down there. Nothing coming up behind me. I think we're okay. Knee cap you if I need to. Drop you. And then just one more to go. That's fine. Like that. Don't go too far away though, Josh, because you will fail the quests. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. The circle is going. I've gone too far, actually. I've gone too far. Uh, it looks like it's focusing on this side. Not that the circle can be trusted. We already know that. The circle is more of a suggestion. Kind of like guidelines. Like the pirate code. Can't see the circle yet going this way. Yeah, I was going to say, but I shouldn't be one or two swings away from getting the circle in again, which means more zombies are coming in again. Just another three far. Look, it's more of just an inconvenience at this point. Me having to leave my little area downstairs to come up and fight you, bludges. Please start. You're breaking my bike a little bit too close. So that's my mini bike, not yours there, Chief. Piss off, champion. There we go. Okay, where's the hole? There's the hole. Oh. Oh, hang on, Ed. Sorry. There you are. Sorry, I thought you were already dead before we were looking for a different hole. Um, Where's it going now? Still coming in this way. It's got to be here. It's got to be here. I've got less than two hours to go, though. It's, I didn't even pay attention, actually. I haven't had any thunderclaps, so I assume there's no hordes tonight? It would have like, clapped to me by now, surely. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Don't break any more blocks in case more zombies spawn. I've got the space for it. That's worse loot than I've been finding in, like, in random piles of garbage along the journey. But okay, sure. I'll take you. More zombies going to spawn. But at least the job is done so I can kill them. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah, all right. There's quite a few of them. Sammy, you ready to go, bud? I'd say you take the right again. But last time, you just let them through and let them clatter me. Missed it. Drop you. Oh, I'm getting a little bit bold with the regular strikes. We're going to rely on the heavy strokes a little bit more. Hit and move. Hit and move. Shoot and scoot. Drop that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. As long as I keep on maneuver. Ow! Keep on maneuvering. Oh, let me cop bloody. Ow! Freaking hell. A couple of punches to the face. I staggered her a bunch of times. Why did I get hit? Don't know, but hit you right back again. That hurt a lot. That was bad. You slap you on. You're still alive? How are you still alive? You're definitely dead now, or are you going to get up and jiggle about again? Let's do this quick, Jenny girl. Double tap the door so you close behind me immediately and see what you're going to give me. Now that you have some there money you go. Spend, we're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. You never are, Jen. This is a flat-out lie. Everything you say to me is a lie. Like, I kind of like you, Josh. And don't worry about the mustache, man, Josh. And what's even a mustache? I don't believe you. I'll take the military helmet. Thank you very much. All those jobs are not really tempting at all. Though the safes at the back, I wish I could reach those. 
Um, right. So I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I still haven't found my lockpicks. Or any lockpicks. I just needed the one, and I'm coming up with absolute donuts. I might, mm, I might have to, like, drop this stuff home. Is some garbage in here I could loot, actually, on the way through? Mm, no. Nothing in here that I can grab. Check the moldy backpack for. Oh, imagine. Imagine if that's where I found the lockpicks, I'd have been very excited, but... I'm not having much luck with that at all, am I? Just gonna go quickly and drop all my stuff off so I can go and get the rest of the gubbins out of the bike before it's too late. You can go there. You're actually tier six already. You can hold on to that suppressor. You are welcome. You can also take all of that. That one, that one, that one. Look at all that stuff I get to sell pretty soon. Scrap you. Sammy can stay with me. The rest of this stuff can go into there. Like, so. All right, good, 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 good. All that goes in like that. Medical supplies, that one. Finally got some stones actually about me and some yucca seeds. That away, and you three away, and you go into them. Get you crafted some more concrete mix, and let's go and get the rest of my stuff from downstairs. Like that. Good. All of that before the night time fell. Good by me. I might actually move around these cement mixes. I'll chuck you there. There is the night time noise. It's the regular one, not the horde night one. You get cancelled real quick. Give me you, and I'll quickly pick you back up again. This is going to leave a, little, leave a little bit of a space here, but that's okay. I don't want everything all crushed into each other. It does kind of make me miss Undead Legacy a little bit. Like, Undead Legacy had a whole bunch of workbenches, as we know, which kind of gave you incentive to have bigger bases, which I actually really liked. You don't need a big base. Like, this here would be fine forever. This is more than our space for vanilla seven days, and it kind of makes me want to go bigger. Like, I, I want to build bigger bases for a reason to, because otherwise you build a big base and just have a bunch of empty space around it. All of my crops are finally ready to harvest. Well, except the ones I've just planted, but that's fine. Um, What is my level of living off the land right now? It's maximum. So I get triple the harvests. I also get a 50% chance... Oh, no. So I get triple, so I get three, plus a fitness chance for a fourth, but there's no mention of uh, having a good chance of getting the seeds back. That's kind of what I wish Maximum Living of the Land had, but we'll see how it goes. You two are still growing. That's fine. Let's get the hoppers. Six and the seed. Thirteen and the seed. No seed out of that one. Seed out of that one. Seed out of that one. Okay. But then I did get 32, so making more seeds... And given I don't have the, the chemistry station right now to cook my froths, that's not a bad idea. I can only make the frothies in the chem station, so that's fine. Make myself some more hop seeds, please. You as many as you can. Yes, that'll do nicely. And I'll replant those immediately. What about this side? Potato plant. Six and one. Seven and one. Allo two. Yeah, look. Now that I'm finally max level for living off the land, it's actually viable to go farming again. Yeah, now sick. I actually take you back. Give me the seed, give me the seed, and I'll rearrange all of my plants out here. I need all the hops in the world. I've got a whole kind of avenue of hops down here. Ooh, have I looted you? I'm pretty sure I have, though. If I go down there, I can't get back up again. I've sealed all this up with all my plants. No, I've definitely raided you. I've gone through there before, but all my hops are down here. All 10 of them. Then I've got some spuds going up this side and my corn. Then coffee and aloe on the other side. Well, I do need... A fair few more of that. Let's just craft another four. Why not? We'll continue this down. Eventually, I'd love all that side to just be hops and then all of my food production on this side. Don't need all that much for the most part, but just having having it nice and cordoned off is just a smart way to play cricket. Uh, you aren't crafting anything. I do want some extra forgy goodness, but I need the stones to do that. I turned all of my stones into concrete. Okay, but at least now I've got some resources to play with. Uh, things are starting to look up. Oh, finally. Thought I'd never see the day when the game would smile at me. I may not be able to make any frothies, but I can sure shit brew up some coffees. And at least that's half of the things that you need to live a fulfilling life. You can go there. In fact, I'll trade you back over to that one. Quickly whack these down outside. Don't have the seeds for you now, but that's all gravy. You. Four more seconds on that one. So I'll just plant up the aloe one there. Wait for the last one. Go like that's all this side is. Aloe seeds. Got coffee on the other side. What does it take to make coffee seeds, actually? Coffee seeds. Lots of coffee beans. Oh, I just... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. You. Stop. Cancel that. I want to make two of you and use the rest to make the coffees. Although, apparently, the seeds are expensive. Fair enough, then. Let's plant you on that side. Here we go. Look into the future. Being sustainable as shit. So, after all that, there's really not much left that I'm wanting for. Like, obviously, the lockpick... Oh, there's some trash in the... Is that a wolf? Hang on a second. There's some garbage in the... 
Holy God, I didn't even know about that. I pocket, there is poo in my pants right now. I didn't pocket nearly fast enough. I thought there was a wolf down there, but it's not. It's just a darker spot on the terrain. Herp, drop down a year. That was a bold move, but it worked out fine. Quickly search. Where, where did I see it? I saw I saw a couple of you. Oh, no. It's just a texture on the ground. Not actually any garbage at all. All right. You lured me. You knew exactly what I was looking for, and you lured me off of my little pedestal up there. It's good to get things off the pedestal, but what didn't have me in mind for that? suppose while I'm down here, I might just quickly... Ooh, there's a sneaky snake over there. Just grab a couple of stones out of this rubble pile. Thank you. Missed it. You reared up to slap me, but I slapped you right back again. Can I actually hit you there? There we go. I don't like that, like, some of the animals in this game have better range than I do. Like, yes, I'm only using my fist, but come on, reach out a little bit further. Nothing in you. There's some more garbage down here. I'll grab some stones. I'll grab some stuff. I'll hope we've got some lockpicks and no eggs. This is the one. This one got good feelings. Ah, my feelings were a lie. Ah, well, whatever. Can't win them all, I suppose. After the last couple of days that I've had, I'm definitely not in a position to be whining about anything. I'll whine about anything you give me the chance to, but I think even in this case, it's a bit much for even me. So many good things have come my way lately, and I am just all smiles all the way around. My farm is finally doing things. Turns out Max are living off the land, despite being expensive to get to. Absolutely worthwhile. So yet again, all I'm missing, I, I can't search for it, all I'm missing is the beast. I get the beaker, I make the chem station. I have everything else I need for it, don't I? Chem station, yeah, I do. Look at it. Oh, cooking pots in the grill, that's all fine. Oh, I'm missing bottles of acid too, actually. Okay, do I have the book? Uh, it's, what is it? It's urban combat? No, it's not urban combat. It's wasteland treasures. One of these... Out of chest, uh, harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. That's a very good book to have. I don't have it yet. So maybe hitting up like a, uh, a cracker book might be a good idea. I'm not sure. What's got a point to spend? Do I put it into lock picking? It'd be a waste of a point, I know, but it might be a good idea. Although I am getting clattered quite a lot. So potentially something in here is probably a better idea. Gonna spend it. Gonna spend it on that one. Don't think, just do. Love we'll to come back and continue not to think and just do some pretty silly things in the next episode to find that beaker and find that acid because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.